Hello, fifth graders. This is chapter three, lesson four of the Ecosystem Restoration Unit. There are three activities in this lesson and we will be doing all of them. So let's get started. Remember as ecologists, we are trying to figure out why the cercopia trees in the project area aren't growing and thriving. We started out by investigating soil. What did we conclude about how soil can be different in different areas? To answer this question, write the answer in your chapter three, lesson four activity packet in a notebook. Talk about the answer with someone near you or think about the answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question. To help figure out what's going on with the soil in the project area, a scientist at Natural Resources Rescue has been studying soil and plants in a laboratory and has sent us new data. Remember, we are looking at our Costa Rican rainforest. We have a project area and a healthy rainforest. She planted two of the same kind of plants, one in nutrient rich soil and one in nutrient poor soil. She measured them at the beginning and at the end of six months. So let's look at the data. So we've got our plant and nutrient rich soil. This is the beginning and this is after six months. So I see a significant amount of growth. And then this is a plant and nutrient poor soil at the beginning and after six months. There's some growth, but I don't see a whole lot. Let's look at the data a little bit closer. So this is for the plant growth in the nutrient rich soil. Our table has April 1st and then six months later on October 1st, which is the date of our observations. We have the weight of the plant and the height of the plant. So at the beginning, April 1st, the weight of the plant was 0.5 kilograms or one pound, and the height was 15 centimeters or about six inches. On October 1st, six months later, the plant had a weight of 1.5 kilograms, or about three pounds, and a height of 30 centimeters, or 12 inches. This is the plant that grew in nutrient-rich soil with a lot of decomposers. How did the plant's weight and height change? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your Chapter 3 Lesson 4 Activity Packet in a notebook, you can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question now. Now let's look at the plant growth in nutrient poor soil a little bit closer. So again, we have our date of observation, which is April 1st or October 1st, and our weight and height of our plant. This plant grew in nutrient poor soil without many decomposers. So at the beginning, on April 1st, our plant had a weight of 0.5 kilograms, or one pound, and a height of 15 centimeters, or six inches. On October 1st, six months later, the plant had a weight of 0.7 kilograms, or about 1.6 pounds, and a height of 20 centimeters, or about eight inches. What changes do you notice? What does this mean about the plant's body matter? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter three, lesson four activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you or you can think about the answer in your head. Go ahead and pause the video to answer this question. Take a moment to think about how the plants are different. How are the plants different? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter three, lesson four activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head. Pause the video to answer this question now. Now let's look at these images. These are real photos of plants that were grown without enough nutrients. So probably in nutrient poor soil. So in this top picture, I notice that there's some yellowing, the leaves are spotted. Um, even these leaves at the top here have yellow spots on them, not quite as big, but they're starting. And I notice in this bottom picture that the red tomatoes or the orange tomatoes have some huge black and brown holes in them. So now that we've looked at these pictures, answer this question. 
What happens to plants without enough nutrients? To answer this question, you can write the answer in your Chapter 3, Lesson 4 activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about the answer in your head.